My two cents, motherfucker. What up, y'all? DZ Fail Guy. So we had something very major happen yesterday. I actually filmed the video um, for the members, <laughs> got off, went on Instagram. I seen from the, the homie Joker's gallery, and then beneath the dirt, his post was right below his post on Instagram about Monoxide apologizing to the Juggalos. And my, my first initial reaction to it was I did not expect to see that. I was super surprised to see that. And, uh, you know, honestly, I didn't, I didn't, ex I didn't expect to see it so soon is actually what I had put in my comment on Joker's Gallery's post about it. And what I mean by that is, is I, I truly didn't think we were going to see an apology this soon. I didn't. Um, there's a video that I had thought about making titled, what would it take for me to forgive Twisted? Uh, I pitched the idea to Megs. She basically had told me since I made the video saying that I wasn't going to make videos about Twisted that I, I, I really needed to stick to that. And there's been a few times I've made videos about them, about the beef, about the divide. And, you know, my whole kind of philosophy was to stay away from the negative bullshit because that's just it's everywhere now on the on, on the juggalo online scene anytime that fago lovers makes a post about twisted you read through the comments it's just constant negative shit you go look through icp posts there's negative shit there it's just everything everywhere is so fucking negative so when i had seen the apology i sat back i had the urge to make this video but i wanted to sit back and i wanted to observe i wanted to see what everybody's reactions were to it and to my surprise there was some people who were receptive to it who accepted the apology and not to my surprise there was an army of people that were too little too late it's bullshit uh they they thought the apology was fake i'm not here to talk about what other people's feelings are I'm here to talk about mine, but I wanted to just observe. I wanted to see what people's reasons were for accepting the apology and what the reasons were for not accepting the apology and just kind of gauge my own feelings before actually coming forward and, and talking about this. But I brought up the video or I brought up the video idea I had for what it would take to forgive Twisted. Uh, it was going to be a very difficult video to make because it would it would involve a lot of really thinking about what it is I was upset at Twisted for. And a lot of people, a lot of people believe that I dislike Twisted because they were not at the March or because of the whole beef and because, you know, I'm, I'm a big, I'm a bigger ICP fan than I am of a lot of the other Juggalo artists. I will say that first and foremost. I label myself a Juggalo, but I was brought into the world of Juggalos through my love for ICP's music. The rest of it just kind of fell into place. So, you know, when everyone left Psychopathic and when the divide started happening, my love for this music is through ICP. A lot of my dislike for what happened with Twisted and the Beef, a lot of what pushed me away from them was a lost respect with the way that they handled the situation. Not so much that they didn't march. And I, I know I've said that in a couple videos and people have commented about, um, you know, the fact that they didn't march is a reason that I should hate them or whatever. But I, I view the march differently than a lot of other people do. I supported it. I felt that the march was a good cause and I still hold to that today. Do I think people should have been there? I don't think they should have been. I think the expectation for certain artists certain individuals to be there was kind of unfair i guess is the word I'm, I'm thinking of i would have loved to have seen more support from twisted in them but i didn't expect them to be there and i don't hold them to that and that's my own personal feelings and opinions and thoughts about it and if you disagree with that i'm sorry that that upsets you but that that's how i feel about the march itself i i particularly particularly did not like the way that icp had that list of invitees and made a list of those who denied and uh accepted the invite that that was just that was that was handled poorly as well i put too many artists 
in the crosshairs of saying, you know, you're not worthy of the Juggalo's love. And that, that was not fair at all. When it comes down to it, the only artists I truly feel should have been at the march were those who were signed to Psychopathic Records. Tech 9, Kung Fu Vampire, uh, Black Shot, all the other ones out there. I do not think they had to be there. Um, you know, Buckshot, he showed up because he felt he owed it to the Juggalos. And, you know, he still gets shit on because of his association and affiliation with Twisted. And that that's the part here lately that's pissed me off about the divide is, you know, just people are kind of overlooking that, you know. Um, but for me, the, the march was, I only expected those artists to be there. The fact that they weren't there does, doesn't necessarily mean that I didn't want to support them anymore. Because, and for me, this this is, like I said, this is my own personal feelings and thoughts about it. And this is, it's going to be different for every single person, especially those who have been affected by the gang label. If you've been affected for it, I understand your feelings towards the artists that didn't show up or who denied to go. Um, I understand your feelings. But my own personal feelings, I was never harassed by police. I never had issues. And I understand that you guys who have are going to feel bitter towards the artists. I understand that. I can only speak about what I feel about the situation. And I didn't encounter any of that. So I did not, them not showing and not supporting it did not make me hate them. I have to put that out there. That's my personal opinion and feeling about it. And again, if that upsets you or bothers you, I'm sorry. But that's just, I, I'm being honest. I'm being 100% honest with you about that. Um... So what about that year upset me? It was the way that Twisted approached it. You know, they looked at it as ICP was was creating this propaganda and creating this uh, publicity stunt to gain this attention for themselves. You know, they made the whole march, the whole gang label about ICP. And obviously they had the feelings they had towards ICP. So, you know, they, they downplayed it they down talked it they trash talked it they you know from my understanding from what i'm being told from things that i have heard were said in vip meet and greets they were basically convincing people not to go and trying to convince people that it was bullshit and that was the part that i disagreed with uh the the moment that i lost all respect and was like i'm moving on i'm done with twisted and i made a video about it and it pissed a lot of people off but the moment that pissed me off or made me lose that respect for them was the live stream where you hear Madrox in the background yelling and you hear, poor her, poor her, what's that girl's name? You know, they they had gotten themselves to a point where I just went, who are these guys? Because I remembered them in songs saying, you know, you're the reason why we do the things that we do, you know, and we don't die. They're talking about... Uh, you know, we're here for the jugglos. It ain't about being rich. Those were the things that I had always heard. So to see them act that way towards jugglos, not towards ICP, to act that way towards jugglos, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Who are these guys? And part of what built me to that point, to that breaking point, was since they left Psychopathic, I went you know basically defending them whenever people would say oh they're dissing icp they're dissing psychopathic i always gave them the benefit of the doubt and i and i still give them a benefit of the doubt because a lot of what they do is they write their feelings in their music so um you know leading up to all those points i i never i never faulted them for that if they ever have beef and, and they still have beef with icp that beef is is not gone it's still there um, you know, so I don't see us having any kind of reunion for quite some time because obviously as of lately, there have been disses from both sides, East side ninjas, yum, yum, bedlam. There's disses. It's there. The beef is still there. There's, they're still not cool with each other. So we are far from a Lotus reunion. Um, but, uh, for me, a lot of what it was is I felt there was a level of arrogance coming from twisted. I remember being at gathering 17 and I didn't like the atmosphere the day that Twisted and m &E arrived. They set up their shop. You see the guys in their, in their work shirts going around their crew shirts. There was like a sense of arrogance from them that I, I didn't like it. And, you know, I know people have commented because I've said that before, you know, that 
Tech Nine is arrogant. He's narcissistic. Shit like that. And, and I understand what you're trying to say. You're you're trying to you're trying to kind of put into perspective that I'm cool with Tech Nine, but why do I have this issue with Twisted when I felt that arrogance? Uh, but I felt so much of that arrogance from them that when 2017 happened, you know, and they were like, "Oh, we're not going to be at the march, but we'll see you at Juggalo Day." I'm like. You know, I, I had the same thought that everybody else did. So you will do a paid event, but you won't do a free event. You know, even if they didn't march, if they would have performed, I still think that would show their support for the Juggalos. And that was, for me, kind of my breaking point was, and this is where I accept Monoxide's apology. So I do want to put that out there. I feel his apology was genuine and i do accept it and actually i say thank you to monoxide thank you for apologizing i accept your apology because that's basically where i was at was my reason or my what it would take for me to forgive them and gain a little bit of respect back from them is to hear a sorry and to hear an explanation for their actions now we didn't fully get an explanation for their actions but he acknowledged in his apology that what they did that year was wrong. He states in his apology whether uh, who was in the right, who was in the wrong. You know, they let all that bullshit get in the way of being there for the jugglers. He acknowledges that. And that's the part for me that's that year they made it all about ICP. They made it, this is their propaganda. They're making it bigger. They're doing this for publicity. They made it about icp and when the juggalos were kind of coming at them all 2017 like what the fuck dude you turned your back on us you know understandably then they start going after the juggalos and start you know uh, being disrespectful towards juggalos which juggalos have helped support their career and again that that for me was the point of who are you guys because you always said you got love for the juggalos that you do this shit for the juggalos and now it's kind of like a 180 so uh, for me, that apology of them stating that they let the bullshit get in the way that, you know, they let whoever was right or wrong, it didn't matter. It was, it was about the juggalos wanting twisted to be at the March to support the March, regardless of how they felt about it. And he's, and you know, he doubles down on how they feel about the March by saying that for what it was, regardless of what it was. You guys wanted us to be there. So they still, they still, he's doubling down on the fact that they still feel like the whole thing was about ICP, but he's acknowledging that the Juggalos wanted their support and they didn't give it. And that's what he's apologizing for. And that's the part that I can and will and am forgiving them for. Well, Monoxide, at least. We haven't heard shit from Jamie. <laughs> But to hear Mon Monoxide, and, and Monoxide has been the most outspoken about the march and about the whole thing out of the two. So to hear it from Monoxide, that has, that has been, for me, the part that I'm forgiving. Is he, I'm losing my train of thought, guys. I'm trying to stay on, on task here. My brain's going a million miles a, a, a minute. I want to make sure I'm conveying my message through. Um, but he's been the most outspoken about it. And so for him to apologize for that, I accept it. And there's regained respect now from it. A lot of juggalos out there, they, they, they don't. They see it as bullshit. I didn't, get, I didn't get a fake apology from that. I didn't feel a fake apology from that. That felt genuine. That, that to me is how they should have handled their response to the ICP interview. The interview or the video they put out where they were basically kind of joking around. They weren't taking it serious. I wish they would have been more serious and that you know the just each year that everything just kept happening that's that's basically what for me was lost respect and you know me moving on from them so um i hope i've conveyed all my messages thoroughly i know i'm going to see a lot of comments of you know fuck twisted and, and probably fuck me for for forgiving them um, but I'm not forgetting. That's the big key here. You know, I'm, I'm real big on forgiveness. My mom really instilled that to me. And, uh, but I don't forget. I don't forget. So moving forward, I would like to see them keep going in this positive direction. 
whether or not we get a statement from Jamie or not, whether we get an explanation for why they, they said the things they said. Well, I mean, they said the things they said because they felt that strongly about it. They felt that it was ICP going for publicity, but they were going for publicity for the Juggalos, and that's the part that Twisted was overseeing. They weren't seeing what the publicity was for. They felt that the publicity was for ICP instead of just the whole Juggalo culture in, as a whole. You know, ICB birthed this culture. Well, maybe maybe not so much birthed it, but they were the womb for it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody's probably going to comment and argue that shit with me. But, uh, you know, I felt his apology was genuine. He acknowledged their wrongdoings and he apologized for not being there. Not being for, you know, not being supportive towards the Juggalos because that's what the Juggalos wanted. So, you know, for that monoxide, I forgive you. I forgive you and I accept your apology. And for everybody watching this right now, you don't you don't have to forgive if you're not ready to, but I wanted to put my thoughts out there because that's just where my head's at. Whether you agree with me, whether you disagree with me, whether you hate me now for it or not, this is just me. This is the straight up fucking truth. This is me being me, being honest, being a hundred percent with you. Instead of coming out here like all the other channels and saying fuck twisted and gaining views and money and popularity. I'm being genuine. So that's where I'm at. This is a long ass fucking video. I hope I conveyed my message right of why I was upset with twisted. Why I walked away from them and every occasionally peeked back. Because, I mean, they're a big part of the Juggalo world, even with the divide and with Juggalos, you know, saying fuck them. They're still a big part of this world whether Juggalos want them or not. So, you know, uh, I, I walked away for those reasons, for anybody that's ever wondered. And, and I don't want to see comments of people like trying to poke holes in why I was upset with them. You, There's nothing you can say or do that's going to change the way that I felt or still feel. That's just me. That's the way I felt. You can come and you write a long ass paragraph of why I'm wrong for feeling the way I felt about Twisted. I felt the way I felt because that's me. Those are my feelings. You can't change that. You, I mean, you might help sway maybe a perspective and an opinion, but there's nothing you're going to say that's going to change how I felt about it. And uh, for the Juggalos that are not willing to forgive Twisted, there's nothing you're going to be able to say and comment that's going to change how I feel about Monoxide's apology. That's me. It's my perspective. It's my opinion. And it's my... Uh, that's me. That's all I can say. So, uh, yeah, I guess leave your thoughts down below. Leave your comments down below. Like I said, we all have our thoughts, our feelings, our opinions. So whatever you're feeling, whatever you think about it, that's you. That's yours. Don't let anybody try to, to shoot you down for how you feel about it. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. We need more positivity in the juggler world right now. So let's keep it peaceful. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.